Some people think bats are creepy. They were associated with the supernatural long before Irish writer Bram Stoker came along. With his novel Dracula, he cemented the connection between bats and the vampires of folklore. As with other nocturnal animals, such as the owl, people don't know much about them. That's why we're afraid of them. We've all heard stories from our grandmothers about bats getting stuck in your hair and you can't get them out, and it's really horrible. This is the brown long-eared bat, named Animal of the Year by the nature group Pro Natura. At night, they use echolocation, emitting sounds that bounce off objects, allowing them to avoid obstacles when flying. And this is the loft where they nest during the summer months. Michel Blanc from the Swiss Bat Centre gave advice on how architects could save the bat colony here while renovating the building. In plein hiver, évidemment, aujourd'hui. In the middle of winter, they're not here because hibernating animals are now in caves. But you can see the dark marks on the wood where they last huddled together, and the droppings rich in insect fragments. The bats get out through this window. You can see this specially made wooden casing. At the back is an escape vent. And this is how it looks from the outside. There are about 30 species of bats in Switzerland, and they're endangered because of loss of habitat. Their food source, insects, is diminishing due to intensive farming. There's an exhibition about these fascinating creatures at the Nature Museum in Solothurn. Bats live under our roofs, in cellars, behind shutters, or they establish nests in hollows of trees and bed down for the winter there. So they're very close to us. But they're also very secretive. You hardly ever see them. They fly out at dusk and go hunting in the night. These girls are making their way with trepidation through the bat cave at the Papierama sanctuary in Kertzes. We have the bats flying um, in the area where the visitors can go, which is a very special experience for a lot of people. For some people it's a bit scary, um, but I think overall it's very exciting. This is home to about 300 South American bats. Polly feeds them a mixture of fruit, cream cheese and millworms. They seem to, to, to thrive. It's a, it's, a, it's a really big enclosure, it's a nice enclosure. Um, and so far we, we didn't have any problems, so uh, I think we can assume that they're quite happy. Just around the corner, Nicolas Fazel is carrying out a doctoral study into bats' mating habits. He wants to find out exactly how many bats now live at the Papierama. After catching the bats, he and his team put rings on their wings and take DNA samples to establish paternity. The bat population need really more, a long time to uh, rebuild because they, uh, they make just one baby per, per, uh, per birth. So just to increase the population is very slow and if, we, if they don't find the basic requirement of the, the ecosystem then they will just disappear. So there's still a lot to learn about the creatures and how they reproduce. This knowledge could help with efforts to preserve threatened species, not only here in Europe, but also in other parts of the world.